Land. Okay, order. So let's make it a good one, guys. Let's make it a fucking good one. Twins and dead gotta go. I, uh... Twins. Dead. Ladies first, you know what I mean? Uh... Me... Vig... Or... Rus... Uh... Ice. Twins. I'll let twins go. Um... Or twins if you want... Actually, I was gonna say, if twins wants, like, let's say they, they're going against, like, a rogue or a, or a death knight, and twins feels like, okay, I don't want to go against twins, we could have dead go first. No idea when it's me. Uh, uh, ice is last. All right, living good, living dead versus twins. Dot up with twins. We do have dots getting exchanged, though. Twins dotting up the dark minion, getting some insanity from it, though. Oh, that is so good. Oh, this is gonna be hard. I think the twins has it, but Living Dead could come out with like some few strats sitting on top of traps and everything. Twins trying to find a way to approach Living Dead, trying to catch him on the other side, gets trapped on them. Living Dead is mounting up to get away far away to a whole another pillar. Is he gonna have anything for invisibility? Maybe a new bit of camouflage? It looks like twins might want to mount up too. We have to admit twins are mounting up. Gonna have to try to find ways to juke Living Dead into the opening. Maybe he catches stun on the guy. Oh, might be able to catch him right here. Stuns him full. Living Dead is trying to LOS it as much as possible. Is he gonna trick it from Perfect Touch? And dots are getting applied onto him. Twins. Now he's getting a lot of Instacast onto Living Dead. Instacast back to back. Insanity form goes out with a mind bender. Living Dead is now taking a lot of damage. Gets trapped on. Is Twins gonna trick it? No, doesn't need to. Aim shots and everything coming out. Living Dead uses his heal. Twins is now using his uh, Vampiric Embrace. Try to deal as much damage to Living Dead. Living Dead is now in turtle form, trying to get away. Whatever heals he can, uses a faint death, and trinkets something. Vampiric Touch is coming out on him again. Drops in a trap. I actually should be far away, because he probably thought he would trap me here. Twins now trying to fade to approach. Living Dead. Traps are going out left and right. The, he pokes out, and the tentacle is actually hitting him with Void. <laughs> Twins still getting insta-cast left and right. Living Dead still taking a lot of damage from his dots. I mean, that's just rotting him, and Twins is just in a good position. Twist of Fate. Increasing the damage of all those dots and everything. Get another pain on him, and now he's gonna get proc, so... Mind Blaster instant. Oh, another Mind Blast instant! Living Dead is under a million! Tried to disengage way out, tried to do some damage to Twins, slowed him down for a moment. Living Dead might honestly die to the Shadow of Pain. He's so dead to the Shadow of Pain! Oh, he, wow, he barely survived it. He used a uh, camo to get a little bit of heal. Twins is still trying to find a way at him. Living Dead is basically on the edge of his fucking deathbed. Running away from Twins, trying to get away from this shadowy nightmare. Which way is he gonna go? Oh, it still gets hit with an Instacast. Twins has full insanity built up and everything. Oh my goodness, this is rough. Living Dead is now just letting Regen do it. Twins is trying to find a way to get maybe a dot, maybe a uh, stun onto Living Dead. Does Living Dead have any cooldowns at all? Gets a dot on him, that also might do it. That dot might do it, because Twist of Fate damage increase with this doing about 50k worth of pop insta cast comes in living dead gets a insta heal of himself though living dead get stunned on while freezing trap is coming out onto twins twins is sitting at full living dead is sitting full stun living dead is now trying to recover basically at about 1 million health again they're going back to the mount fiasco over here running after each other back to back twins again trying to juke him out trying to get him out in the open we actually have a uh whoa that was a uh, camo we don't see a lot of camo. This is kind of cool. Seeing Hondo with camo again. Twins is going to go pick up eyes and going to be able to see Living Dead, who is now really, really slow. Got all the way to the other side of the pillar. Twins still has Instacast Brock. Still was able to get a dot. The Shadow of Pain onto Living Dead. Gets trapped out in the open. Windburst coming out. Is that a good idea? Twins is popping Disperse right now. I don't know how much damage Windburst is in PvP, honestly. But it looks like still Living Dead is going to take a lot of damage. Darkman is getting dotted up. Twins has full burst, full dots. Full everything. Just needs to get a stun. Gets a stun onto Living Dead. Gets knocked right in the open where Dead want, where Twins wanted to be. Living Dead shrinking in that stun. Short, but we still don't even have insanity coming out of Twins. Full. Oh no, no dots are on Living Dead anymore. I think he actually has a uh, faint death, which uh, removes dots. So we could have that kind of playstyle. Living Dead is trying to recover. Twins got this in the bag, I think. Living Dead needs to make some plays if he wants to make a comeback here. Holy shit! What's the hunter doing? Trying to beat a. Trying to beat a priest, and it's not easy, apparently. 
dropping down a trap behind him, another trap on the other end. Stun still comes out. Oh, Living Dead as twins uses the trap for knockback to get in his place. Still gets hit by a freezing trap. Gets out of it with a trinket. Living Dead now pop in turtle shell. In order to get away, will probably be able to get himself a faint death in order to remove those dots, those fresh dots. Twins still trying to find a way to approach Living Dead. He's trying to get himself into a camo, but out in the open, disengages out in the distance. His twins gonna be able to do anything. Reset up their dots completely. So Living Dead is not gonna go back to take a damage from dots. Twins are still going doing just fine. The aberrations are sw slowly just moving up at Living Dead, getting caught with that freeze trap again. So Living Dead won't have it for a while. Getting all the way to Africa. Gonna go pick up the pick up the food, pick up the lock stones. Is he gonna maybe get a camo off? Or Swin's gonna catch him in the open? Dead is still in the out in the open right now. Twin's getting a stun on the guy. Is it gonna be a trinket? Vampiric touch, Instacaster coming out. Getting the mind flays available, getting the Siphon mind flay available, keeping him out in the open as much as possible. Going to full insanity form with the pet and everything. Living dead, pain and death, just to remove all these dots. Twins is moving up, getting hit with a trap, and that pet honestly takes out Living Dead. That was so satisfying to watch. Holy crap. Oh, and now Mopa versus Twins. The full disperse comes out on Vendetta Burst by Twins. Understanding that Mopa is going to have a lot of damage, Full Kidney comes out again. Twins was able to get a lot of healing out of those though. Trying to get a stun on Mopal who cloaks it. Twins is now going low on health. Trying to find a way to get out of the trying to recover. Not a lot you can do against the rogue. And dead comes in on his signature survival hunter burst. Blinded by Mopal with dots and everything. Dead back at survival. This is honestly this is the shit I live for. Dead back at survival. Dead now is gonna have to find a way to approach traps and running around pillars is what he's known for best. The traps are still, the pets are still on Mopal. Mopal trying to find a way to restell, getting rooted out and uh, flared out in the open. Bleeds and everything is up, trying to sprint away. Dead is now trying to catch up to the guy. It looks like Mopal is actually trying to turn the damage around with a shadow step onto Dead to get a little bit of damage reduction. Looks like he's fully dotted up with artifact open. Mopal's still going down really, really quickly though. Does he have anything? Cheat Dead did get it proc'd. He does have a little bit of healing going out, but it looks like Dead is going to take him out in the end. All those bleeds, all those dots, and Manic Bandit just wipes it all out of here. Ooh, that is insane. All right, Tompa is next. Is Metz even there? He is, okay, he is. Looks like Tompa versus Dead now. Oh, getting caught in, out in the open. Polymorph is coming out. Can't really do anything. Throwing axes at the guy. Trying to get some fireball combustion damage. Dead took a lot of damage right now, but still wants to go back to the pillar strategies. Tompa is able to blink through some of the traps, though. So it's going to be a little bit hard for Dead to kite him into the traps. Right then and there, resetting the traps. Tompa is going for a temporal shield. Dead is still way out. Just going around the pillars. Polymorph coming out onto Dead's pet, which is going to heal him to full. Manic Bend is coming out onto Dead. Percentage damage healing is so nice. Tompa just doesn't want to approach it or doesn't really know how to approach it. More axes keep flying at Tompa's face. The pet is back onto Tompa. Dead just has a whole sector secured for himself. We'll see how it works out. <coughs> Sorry for that cough. I really need a drink of water, but this shit, I feel like if I drink a drink of water, just, I'll do a Trump sip right now. All right, Tampa, trying to come in low on health, so low, dead, just barely has any damage on the guy. It's only the pet and some of the explosives just doing you know, so much damage. Forces cauterize, eyes block, and Tampa is not trying to find a way to get onto dead. He hits a trap, trinkets it, runs around the circle, has at least some health to survive and recover. Again, more traps are getting forced and thrown at Tampa. The pet is back on him. Polymorph coming out, and dead is just getting a full heal. The dampening is now at about 19%, so that's where it's going to start being a little bit heavy for everybody who does have a lot of healing. Tampa is trying to get a few insta casts off onto dead, but. That pet damage on those axes and that's around 100 damage is coming in. Tompa is now getting closed in by Dead because Dead feels like he's in a comfortable position. Gets Tompa low enough and just letting the pet peck at the guy, peck him out of the way. Tompa is getting some heals though. A little bit of healing is still coming out. Trying to get rid of the pet, going for a polymorph on the pet. Still has so many axes thrown at the guy. Blinking and trying to do some damage to the Dead and Dead just swipes him out with a single Mongo's bite. And now cannibalizing to get health back. Oh my god. Now, Ark has to go against Dead. How's that gonna work? That's an Affliction Warlock versus Survival Hunter. We got him caught in a trap. Looks like a full trap. Looks like Dead is maybe trying to get away. Can't figure out if he wants to RP walk out of there or run out of there. It looks like Dead wants to get a different lineup. It looks like Arcanite walked through every single dot. Setting up Demonic Arcway ahead of time. Has the pet Succubus rushing at Dead. Arcanite is dotting up Dead's pet right now. Our Dead is not moving in. 
before burst and everything, getting hit by a horror effect. The sample fixtures are coming out and might be able to actually get rid of them. No, two EYs and corruption did hit dead. Arcanine is now forced to use wall, trying to get as much damage out as possible. Try to go for a drain soul for whatever healing onto the PvP pet, which is actually the name of the PvP pet. And now the Arcanine is actually kind of dropping low. He has to be forced out of the wave, using drain soul on the PvP pet again. And I think dead might go dismiss the pet. Arcanine just trying to recover his health and stay healthy early on with all that dampening. That is still just waiting, letting the dodge just do its own thing. A 50%, uh, 5% extra, uh, 5 seconds left of Agony. Tried to get a little bit of a manic bandage. It's not a lot. Arc basically recovered himself to full. I'm pretty sure he just used the health stone just now in order to recover. We should have mage food if uh, Dead can somehow get over here and get some mage food. He's more than welcome to fam. Alright, Dead is now back to cutting Arcanite. But back to asserting his dominance of the pillar. The Arcanite, is he gonna watch and he's gonna stumble onto the traps? Looks like Dead is just trying to lure him in the right direction, going for more mending bandages. Arcanite needs to approach. The pet does eat the trap for freeze trap. It looks like Arc does want to approach the situation. Getting dotted up with crows, getting dotted up with dragonfire grenade, silence for a little bit. Pet is doing some damage. Dead is now moving into up close in order to do as much damage as possible. Mortal coil with a pet stun. Infernal coming out by Arc. Dotted dead up to full and forced to use turtle shell in order to remove as many of those dots as possible. Arcanite was doing as much damage as he could, trying to heal, but now it might be a chance for Dead to finally turn this around. Uh, maybe, we'll see. Many benches are coming out, didn't really last too long. It freezes the pet yet again. Infernal is now hitting the uh, PvP pet that it just keeps pecking at Arc. Another first aid coming out, or first aid this time coming out by Dead, trying to get whatever healing he can. Dampen is about 36% right now, so it's gonna be a little bit rough to see exactly, you know, to see exactly where it was gonna happen, to see exactly what everybody's gonna be doing right now. Dead still has a little bit of agony just stacking on him. The pet is trying to catch him in the seduction out in the open. Arc does get hit with a freezing trap. And it looks like the oh, this pet, the succubus pet is actually dead. So Arc is going to have to waste a uh, soul shard in order to get one back. Dead is still running around the pillars. This is harsh against against the affliction war. Like, this is rough. Another, another one. Another pet comes out. Dead does have himself a trap available. It looks like Arc does see it. Still walks into it, though. Might be in time for dead to go for full damage. The horror is definitely going to come out. The horror definitely came out. Curse of Weakness is coming out afterwards. They actually removed all the dots when Stable Affliction gets uh, uh, sedu seduced for a moment. I got dotted? Okay. That's completely that. probably an accidental thing. I'm going to just pop up, pop absorb myself. Dead is still trying to maintain, trying to go for some damage onto Arc. It looks like he's actually oh, he's on the guy. Yep, our stable fiction is coming out by Arc, trying to line as best as he can. Get him back in there. Arc is at about 20% health, doesn't have any more healing. I think he just used his uh, one last whatever healing he has for uh, Soul Shard. Drain Soul coming out onto the pet. Dead is now forced to uh, mess with the Succubus, trying to kill the Succubus really quickly. So the Succubus does not really bother him too much throughout the whole duel. Drain Soul is still coming out onto Dead's pet. And Dead uses death, uh, feign death in order to remove all those dots. It looks like Arcanaut actually just has such a setup. Revive Pet is coming out. Dead is so low on health though. Trying to use Mending Bandages. I think Arc still got him dotted up and everything. Yeah, looks like Arc got him dotted up and everything. All right, who's next? Oh, Dead played it at, like a fucking champ just now. That is amazing. Oh, it's me. Okay. Oh, Lord. What? You're kidding, right? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, come on. Oh, come the fuck on. Oh, god damn it. Come on. Oh, you heal so much. It's just disgusting at this point. Oh. You fucking... Oh, you fucking mong. You mongoloid. Oh, jeez. I can't beat this. I absolutely cannot beat this right now. I actually just can't. There's nothing I can do. I came at him with full burst and people are like, but Dalaran, Fire Mage does a lot of damage, hoo <laughs> I did everything. I went pop burst and all instas. 
I did zero damage to the guy. Oh, and Vigorous takes him out. Oh, finally, Arx's reign of fucking terror is down. And now it's Mets versus Vigorous. And people tell me Fire Mage is good. Get out of here. I used all my instas and all my bursts and can't kill the fucking Warlock. Oh, and people tell me Mage is good. Get out of here. What the hell was that? Mets is just uh, fucking teleporting through time and space, it looks like. Vigorous trying to catch a few healers right now while dampening at 58%. That's gonna be hard. Full stun on Mets. His trinkets it. We got an absorb coming out by Vigorous. Mets is gonna take full damage. Doesn't want to take the full damage. Gets away from it right before it explodes. More flash heals are coming out by Vigorous. Mets needs to approach this. Doesn't have a lot of you to heal here. A full bop and full bubble is still available on Vigorous. Mets low on health. Trying to do what he can. Dashes out of the way. Cannot do anything when uh, Paladin just slows him down the whole time. More. More dashes coming out, just trying to get away. Incap comes in, another stun, maybe Trinket out of Vigorous. Oh, stun while Blur is up. I think this is honestly where Mets is finished. I don't care how, how much Blur you have, you're done. <laughs> God damn. Dad and Twins, I think they're the MVP of this. Honestly, Dad and Twins did such a good fucking job. It's not even funny. It's not even funny, fam. You almost had him? I mean, come on. I almost had him applies for every single person I try to burst as a fire mage gunner. I swear to god. You guys were there for like a lot of the times where I was just uh saying just how much how bad mage is in Legion PvP. Again, it doesn't help the fact that mage was just that much better designed in mop. Ah, uh, god. I really need another class to play on EU.